Jason Mikey, I'm Jalen Rose with you. Nuggets with a chance to put a stranglehold on their series with the Hornets coming into the game up two games to none. I'm a Reggie Bush fan, but Reggie, either put the glasses on or take the glasses off. I was, okay. I was looking for Kim Kardashian myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this game real early, real physical here. It seems like emotions are running high. Playoff basketball. Bennett Salvatore, the official. Calm down, Bennett. Call a foul. I don't know if a, a flagrant foul was warranted at that point. Well, a total of three flagrant fouls called in this game. 58 personal fouls were actually called. And that's physical. Third quarter now. Hornets up by three. It's CP3 going around the double team, throwing it up to the big fella. It's Tyson Chandler, CP3 with 12 assists in the game. And that's a welcome sight for Hornets fans. The number one alley-oop combination in the league for Pat this last season, finally connecting in the playoffs. Well, Chris Paul puts the Hornets up by one. He had 32 after the three. Nuggets down by nine here. J.R. Smith with the fadeaway. He was four nine from distance. Minute 30 to go. Nuggets still down. And it's Carmelo Anthony spotting up, knocking down the three at 25, Nuggets within five. 25 seconds to go here. Anthony pokes away the pass. Lennox Clazer recovers the basketball. Nuggets with a chance to steal the win here. 11 seconds to go. What are we seeing? The play was basically drawn up for J.R. Smith to get the ball to Chauncey Billups on the left wing. Him not being a ball handler and a creator, he picks up his dribble under pressure, doesn't get it to Chauncey, gets it to Melo, bad decision, bad turnover. Well, James Posey, he got fouled, came up with a big rebound, not able to knock down the free throw, and Carmelo almost able to connect on the long ball. Denver, uh, they still lead the series, despite the loss, two games to one now at this point. Denver shot almost 41% after shooting 50% in each of the first two games. Byron Scott said of Chris Paul's performance, quote, he came out and played like the best point guard in the world. Speaking of the best point guards, hmm, interesting here. Mr. Big Shot, after getting the best of Chris Paul in games one and two, Chauncey Billups cooled off just a touch in game number three, scoring only 16 points on 30% shooting from the floor. He had 67 over the first two games of the series. Byron Scott, when the game was over, he told us his message to his team at the break. You know, I, uh, at halftime, just wrote two things on the board, stay aggressive. That, that, that was the bottom line. I thought we came out much more aggressive. I knew they was going to try to get a ball to Chauncey because, you know, that's his nickname, Mr. Big Shot, and uh, tried to deny him. We had a good defensive possession, and Pose came up with a big rebound. We was only down one. I didn't want to try to settle for a jump shot. Um, Kenya was wide open underneath of the rim. I tried to get him that. I tried to, you know, make the, make the correct play. That was the right play to make. Um, Marks got a hand on it. At that point in time, it was just, you know, for me to try to make a, make a tough shot. 